Welcome back to the CD Genomics's Next Generation Sequencing Video Series. In this video, you will learn the methods and workflow of whole genome sequencing. This video falls into three parts, overview of whole genome sequencing, the methods of whole genome sequencing, and how whole genome sequencing is promoted by advanced sequencing technologies. Let's start with the overview of whole genome sequencing. The genome of each individual organism contains its entire genetic information. Whole genome sequencing is a powerful technology that helps researchers to obtain the entire genetic information of the genome, and reveals the complexity and diversity of the genome. Whole genome sequencing can detect variants, including single nucleotide variants, insertions or deletions, copy number changes, and large-scale structural variants. Whole genome sequencing can be divided into de novo sequencing and resequencing, based on whether there is a reference genome. If there is a reference genome, genome assembly will become easy and rapid. Next, you will learn the methods of whole genome sequencing. In the early 80s, Sanger successfully completed the whole genome sequencing of the lambda phage by using the shotgun method and the method was successfully applied to the larger viral DNA, the organelle DNA, and the bacterial genome. Shotgun sequencing is the classic strategy for whole genome sequencing. The shotgun sequencing strategy provides a technical guarantee for large-scale sequencing. The technology first randomly interrupts a complete target sequence into small fragments, sequenced separately and then splicing them into a consistent sequence, by using the overlapping relationships of these small fragments. For large genomes, it mainly includes two methods, one is the hierarchical shotgun sequencing, or the clone-by-clone -clone method, and the other is the whole genome shotgun sequencing. This method was once adopted by the HGP consortium. This method can generate high-density maps making the genome assembly easier. It generally includes four steps, preparation of bank clone library, preparation of clone fingerprint, bank clone sequencing, and sequence assembly. However, this method is time-consuming and costly, so it is seldom used at present. WGS generally involves five steps, random fragmentation of genomic DNA, size selection using electrophoresis, library construction, sequencing, and genome assembly. Two different sizes of DNA fragments including longer insert, 2 to 2.5 kilobits, and short insert, 0.5 to 1.2 kilobits, are selected from the agarose gel. While the long inserts are cloned in phage or cosmid vectors, the short inserts are cloned in plasmid vectors. The short insert clone library is used for sequencing from both the ends. Since large numbers of clones are sequenced, each of the genomes will be covered more than 10 times. Long insert clones can be used to increase the efficiency of genome assembly. The advantages of WGS include it does not require genome maps, and is less time consuming and money saved. But WGS has two drawbacks. First, Genome assembly for eukaryotic genomes is difficult, due to abundant repetitive sequences. Second, genome sequencing using this method is not accurate. Unlike clone-based library approaches, next-generation sequencing platforms utilize a dramatically simplified method of library construction, which has simplified and promoted the whole genome shotgun sequencing. In generally, Genomic DNA is first randomly fragmented using sonication or nebulization, and then are ligated to a platform-specific set of double-stranded adapters to generate a shotgun library. Subsequently, these library fragments are sequenced by NGS instruments. All NGS instruments utilize a microfluidic device, to contain the amplified fragments of the shotgun library followed by an imaging step that collects data from fragments being actively sequenced. The data analysis pipeline for WGS include RORID quality control, data preprocessing, alignment, variant calling, genome assembly, genome annotation, and other advanced analyzes. 
This flowchart illustrates different WGS workflows utilizing different sequencing instruments. NGS instruments require the PCR amplification step before sequencing, while MinION and PERC bio instruments rely on single molecule sequencing technology, which emits the amplification step and can perform direct sequencing. Although next generation sequencing has enabled population scale analyses of small variants, it's difficult to identify larger structural variations. Further, de novo assembly using next generation sequencing are often of lower quality, compared with those using older and more expensive methods. The single molecule sequencing technologies can get over these difficulties, which span nearly entire chromosome arms, and are not sensitive to GC content. They have been used to produce highly accurate de novo and reference assemblies for microorganisms plants, animals, and humans, enabling new insights into evolution and sequence diversity. In the end, if you want more information about whole genome sequencing, please visit our website, www.cd-genomics.com. We are more than happy to be of assistance.